Dach. Thank you. I'm just going to share my screen. Can you see that? Is it as a presentation? Yeah, lovely. Thank you. OK, so this is the um, last element of the conference Saturday. So I'm just going to recap um, some of the key points from today. So I don't know about you, but it's been um, quite a lot to take in. Lots of, of very interesting comments, um, particularly from our Ask the Expert um, slot. So I'm just going to go over what we've we've covered today. So Meg in the morning has given you an introduction to the assignment and some key pointers in terms of how to um, begin writing the assignment. So you've had guidance um, in conference Saturday uh, one over course strand one and uh, two. Um, and um, so today we've been looking at course strand three and four, and I've just noted, uh, noticed an error on my slide. So that should be three and four, not one and two that we've been looking at today. So um, with this element of um, with this assignment for um, leadership and management, there are four elements to it, as you know, um, and each one links directly to the course strands. Um, so um, if you want any further guidance on that, you can go back to that recording and there's also guidance on the pebble pad for you. So then Di and Alison um, went over course strand three, which is to develop a strategic plan to implement appropriate interventions and strategies and discuss the value of knowing the learners that you've got. Um, considering a variety um, of uh, strategies and interventions that you can implement. Um, I think we touched on the importance of reflecting on those and seeing whether they work for the learner. Um, and then I think Emma, um, who was uh, um, Emma Bowles, talked about um, a, a very interesting individual case where they had to turn what they'd planned on its head and actually look at it from the perspective of the learner um, and provide the interventions from that perspective rather than looking at the interventions first, um, which I thought was quite a valuable way of, of looking at it. So um, Diane Allison went through the three tiers of intervention uh, with you. So the first tier being at the classroom level, um, and then tier two, which is more bespoke, and then tier three, where you might be bringing um, outside agencies in or withdrawing the child out of the main classroom settings. Um, and then course strand three, um, and I will change these PowerPoints to reflect the course strands, um, is what Anne has just been discussing around evaluating um, modes of effective leadership and management of ALN and what that looks like in practice. Um, and I know that you've given some really valuable um, feedback on that. And again, this should support you with your assignments um, and a starting point really in terms of ideas um, for you to think about how to structure and organise um, your your own response um, to the core strand question. Um, and then we had Dr Aoife Brennan from um, Dublin City University um, and um, I made copious notes so I've tried to sort of just make a bullet point some of the key um, things that she did discuss things around the language that we use um, and are we do we all understand um, the way that we um, interpret the terminology are we do we you know when we talk about autism or we talk about um, different conditions or we talk about special educational needs do we all understand it as the same thing and she was suggesting that we don't you know and we've got different perspectives and we come at it from our own perspective sometimes um, and we need to think about that consistency in terms of, uh, of approach. Um, there's that um, discussion um, around labelling and how we label. And it's quite interesting that they've got autism uh, um, specific classrooms in secondary schools or second level schools, as she called them. Um, and, you know, we were discussing um, at, at the beginning of the lunchtime break about, you know, what if you were a child that had um, you didn't have a diagnosis of autism, you might have something else, but you'd still need that support. Would you be able to access those classrooms? Um, I don't know about you, but I felt as though we could have listened a little bit longer to what um, Aoife had to say. 
Um, I think some of the messaging that came out of her talk is probably relevant to us in Wales as well in terms of the language, the labelling, uh, consistency. So we have a consistency in approach and maybe that we reflect on some of the um, interventions and support and systems that we have in place and, and think about whether they actually do what we think they are doing um, and to see you know, whether our perspective um, is true in other people from other people's contexts as well. So if we think that intervention is working, are we also considering the learner viewpoint and the parents' viewpoint, et cetera? And something that's um came from Aoife's talk that you know you've been talking about just now with Anne is the need for training um, and consistent training and everybody having access to that training um, and maybe some of the barriers to access in terms of funding, in terms of time, et cetera. Um, also, the increase in demand on services, on us as practitioners, on the ALN system. Um, so she talked about that in, in terms of being a problem and gave some quite startling figures in terms of um, increased demand for autism support. Um, and then that idea about um, how policy is implemented in practice and maybe some of the challenges um, around that. So while we heard um, this from the Irish perspective, I thought there was a lot um, of similarities um, and things that resonated in terms of our experiences here in Wales. So hopefully there was a lot there that you could take forward, um, not only to inform your own practice and to consider where you are in terms of um, your work, but also, um, and it's not all focused on the assessment, but, you know, it might help you in terms of how you, some of the ideas you you might want to present in your assignment. So um, what should I do next? So these are um, just some tips in terms of next steps after today. So this is the final Saturday for the leadership and management um, of ALN module. So going forward, engage with the optional sessions um, that you've got in the individual HEIs. So any questions um, that you might have in the next few days um, about today, about um, the module as a whole, um, bring those to the um, individual, uh, also the sort of individual HEI optional sessions and ask your module leaders um, if you've got any questions. Continue to work through the reflective activities on um, the pebble pad um, and um, ensure that you understand the assignment so that you can consider this as you work through the module. Um, you are very experienced. You've got lots of um, examples of your own practice and we're really looking forward to seeing those in the assignment. But key to that is you being able to link that to the literature. So that is the level sevenness of this program in terms of your critical engagement with the literature and that and how you um, interpret that in, how that's interpreted in practice. Um, so in the pebble pads, there is, there is quite a lot of literature there that you can draw upon and you can reference that in your assessments um, or the, the individual sections of the assessment. Um, that's what we're looking for is that connection between the practice um, and the theory, what you've read. Um, so we need to see that in order to be able to, you know, award the marks at master's level. Um, so finally, this is where you will find um, uh, the National Saturday resources. So as you know, we've recorded all the sessions today except for your discussions. Um, we will upload those um, next week. Um, so you will be able to access all the recordings. Um, all the PowerPoints are already there except for this one because I was writing it after um, Aoife left. Um, so this will be up on the National Resource tab as well. There is a lot of guidance in terms of the assignment in the assignment um, tab. As I just want to reiterate, you're being asked to do a presentation and a poster. Um, if you're struggling with the IT, um, ask your module leader for support because we're not marking your IT skills, we're marking the content. So um, if you're not sure how to upload or you want some advice and guidance, there is advice and guidance in the tab. Um, but you can ask your uh, module leader if you if you want further support with that. And finally, um, we would really appreciate you've got 
three minutes <laughs> if you would do um, uh, an evaluation for us on the module please we'd really be grateful so um, there's the QR code there and I've just put the links in um, in the chats if you want to click on either the English or the Welsh and we'd be, we really appreciate um, your evaluation of the module so far because that does inform what we do next year so we take your comments very seriously and we we amend um, our module delivery according to the comments that we have as feedback so i'm going to pause there um then the next slide is asking if anybody's got any questions so if you've got any questions please now's the time to ask otherwise if you could take the next two minutes or so just to do the evaluation that would be great diolch and fawr Do you want to stop recording, Anne?